United Space Alliance. Innovation you can trust. Spacewalkers Ricky Arnold and Joe Acaba turned into handymen as they broke out a hammer to try and fix a part on the outside of the space station. They hammered a pin to get it out of an external cargo carrier that was not operating right. They hoped that would allow them to open up the carrier and lock it into position. Three, two, three, two, one, go. Negative. No such luck. The repair plan had been hatched out over the past couple days by NASA and contractor teams. Both crew members uh, clearly pulling as hard as they could uh, while still maintaining a stable body position and the ability to catch themselves should the thing let loose. Uh, they were unable to budget. They uh, tried one strong steady force and then tried, uh, to, tried to rock it back and forth just a little bit. So the spacewalkers tied down the platform. Another space crew will fix it once engineers come up with a plan. We are disappointed that the UCAS task didn't work, but we are very happy with all of the rest of the work that the crew did, uh, the way they worked on that task. We gained so much information about what could and couldn't be done uh, with that platform. The six and a half hour final spacewalk of the mission had some big successes. Moving this equipment cart went off without a hitch. That's Joe Acaba holding it in his hands as he's moved by robot arm to the place where the cart was installed. The crew also lubricated the end of the space station's robot arm to keep it up and running. Meanwhile, the crew inside the space station had a successful run of the urine recycler fixed during this shuttle mission. Uh, we were able to uh, perform the full uh, processing cycle uh, of about uh, 70 pounds of, of urine uh, that has been uh, washed through the urine processor and uh, has been converted uh, into uh, clean water. There will be more tests of the urine recycler, a critical piece of space hardware needed to provide enough water for a six-person space station crew later this year. David Waters, SpaceFlightNow.com.